Tomzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we've got a bottle of beer from Brewdog. It's a bottle of their Riptide. It's an 8% ABV stout. Long time since I've had this one. Um, this is probably the original stout I had from Brewdog. The first ever stout I ever had from them. And really enjoyed it at the time. Last time I had this was sat outside the old Fraser Brew Brewery. The Brewdog when um, I was up there brewing a metaphor. Um, they had a they had a case of beer up there, and we would like help yourself if you want a beer out through that throughout the day. And I did have a bottle of this. No idea what it was like. I've got no memory of it, but I've got fond memories of having this on cask years ago. But um, let's get it in the glass. I mean, it's a funny one. Um, it's kind of very much kind of forgotten about. I'd say this beer in favour of some some of their bigger ones like Black Eyed King Imp and obviously the Fantastic Paradox range. But this is, I think it's, I don't think it's, um, I think it's part of their amplified range, so they're um, not kind of like uber core, it's not like Punk and Dead Pony and Red 5am and all that business. So beer in the glass, pretty, yeah, that's a jet black, nice shiny looking beer. And the head, mid-brown, looks good, Let's give it a gentle swirl and a sniff, check out the aroma. That's lovely. Oh, that's really nice. It's... It's kind of burnt beef, oddly. It's kind of got gravy granule thing going on. There's a lovely sweet chocolate. Sweet yet dense dark chocolate. Plums. Blue, a black currant. Blueberry. The aroma reminds me in a lot of ways of um, Libertine Black Ale, um, but without the hop. But saying that, there is a little bit of hop in there. There's a slight amount of smoke. But all in all, a really rounded, burnt yet toasted um, aroma. Hints of kind of vanilla as well. Smells great, really does. Let's dive in. Cheers. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, that's really nice. Mouthfeel. Top end of me medium. The flavours. Quite a tangy, tangy bitterness of malts. Something that reminds me of kind of Marmite as well in a way. Definitely that kind of burnt bitterness of kind of carbon, the charcoal now. And that definitely hints back towards something slightly smoky, something definitely kind of lacquery in there as well on the, on the aftertaste. The bitterness of kind of um, high percentage um, chocolate. I have said it, cocoa solids. A tangy, kind of prickly bitterness from those malls. Licorice, a little bit. Um, burn, if you try to toast marshmallows, but burn them. Got that kind of slight bitterness of um, the malts. Bitterness of the kind of the burnt bits. It's nice, it's quite a simple beer. Um, the flavour that runs through, it, runs through it is really nice. I don't, I'm not 100% convinced by that kind of that tangy overt bitterness. For me, a bit more sweetness would really bring it around, but I I love a sweet stout, so I'm a bit um, kind of biased in that regard. Um, quite a bitter beer in all in all. But lovely stuff. I mean, they do some great dark beers, the brew dog, and this is not, not one to be overlooked. So that is a bottle of Brewdog's Riptide 8% ABV, a twisted merciless stout as they say on the side of the bottle. Lovely stuff, I'm Rob from Hobbsy.com and I will see you next time. Cheers.